She must eat one blue pill and one red pill. Any other combination will poison her. How do you do that? What if she ate all of them? No. There's two girls sitting on a tree with <laughs> saws. Which one is stupider? This is literally the two of us in girl form sitting in a tree. All you have to tell me is how many animals are in this picture. Oh. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome to this episode of Lanky Box. Yeah! Today we are seeing if Justin can solve some messed up riddles with a twist. Justin will now be showing several different riddles. If he can guess the answer to most of them correctly, he gets to play a special game with prizes at the end. Let's go. Okay, Justin, let's see how many of these riddles you can get right. And you guys know we love giveaways, right, Justin? Yeah. But we wanted to take it up a notch. So for a limited time, if you guys are subscribed, we're going to be picking one person to send a new iPhone to. Wait, what? Yeah, you don't like the new iPhone 11? We're going to send them your iPhone? No, 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 a new one. A new iPhone 11? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all you guys have to do is literally just be subscribed to Lanky Box. That's it. Just turn subscribe on the notifications. Subscribe to this channel. That's it. So click the subscribe button. We're just going to be randomly picking one person to send an iPhone to. So that's it. So let's get into the first riddle right now, which is this blind pill riddle. What? Okay. A blind girl is trapped on an island. Okay, okay. She is given two blue pills and two red pills. Okay. She must eat one blue pill and one red pill. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Any other combination will poison her. What? What should she do? Wait, that's the whole riddle? That's the whole riddle? That's the whole riddle. So she has four pills. She's blind, so she can't see them. Uh -huh. She has to take one of each color uh -huh. in order to live. Any other combination, she will be poisoned. Okay. How do you do that? Okay, okay. <laughs> This is a real riddle. I'm going to take out some pills here. Okay, Skittles. Yes, yeah, Skittles. Okay, now, so two red and two... Now, there are no blue Skittles. I'm going to use green ones instead. Okay, it's okay. the same thing. Got okay, it. Okay, now, she has four pills. Correct. Two red, two green, and two blue. And she can't see them. She's blind. She's got to take one red and one blue, or green in this case. If she takes any other combination, she will die. Exactly. And all the pills feel the exact same. They look the exact same. Just the color is different. So... How do you do it? Look, if I close my eyes, right? Okay, now you I can't, can't see. see. Okay, just like her. Now I'm gonna mix these pills up for a real simulation. Okay. Okay, okay. They are definitely mixed up. I now, is this all four of them? Yes, you have four in your hand. <laughs> what I will actually now do is using the power of Skittles. I can smell which ones are red and which ones are green, Adam. Okay. This one right here is red. <laughs> is it red? No. <laughs> oh. I would die if this was me. <laughs> and okay, the pills on. that she's using are not Skittles. They don't have any scent. They don't have We're any We're just smell. using these for the example. Okay, okay. Wait, I might be a genius. Did Justin solve it? What if I'm actually a genius? I'm thinking this. She only needs to take one red and one blue or one green. What if she ate all of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, any what? other combination will poison her. <laughs> and she spits two out. How do you know that the ones in your mouth are one red and one green. Spit them out. See I what color they my are. Body. My body would instinctually know. <laughs> what if you just ate two red pills? <laughs> Spit them out. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Get Cookie to help. Okay. Cookie's a no. I must find the antidote. Cookie's coming in. Cookie's a Jimmy. Help. Help. <laughs> Cookie and Jimmy. I'm going to run some experiments. <laughs> And they have found the perfect combination of Skittles. What are they? They say administer the pills quickly. <laughs> this is so stupid. Whoa! I'm back. Oh, thank goodness. I'm actually on to something. That, that experiment actually taught me the answer. If in a hypothetical world, she could clone herself. <laughs> If she could clone herself, uh -huh. she could take two pills, and the clone could take two pills, and one of them would survive. No, because what if one of them took both red, and the other took both green? 
<laughs> I actually have it. I actually have it. This time I'm being serious. I have it. I noticed these pills can be broken. What if she breaks each pill in half and eats half of that pill? She's guaranteed to eat one whole red one and one whole blue or green one. Wait, do a demonstration. I'm a national hero. Where is my Nobel Peace Prize award for science? Look, I have four pills. Let's say I don't even know what these are, right? But if I take all of them, I can't see. I just take half each. Okay, half. It doesn't matter. Half, half, uh huh, and a half. Then when you link them back up, you still have one full green and one full red. Which means I took one full green, one full red. Dude! And that'll work every time! Somebody give me an award! Go! Trophy! Now! Right now! <laughs> okay, let's see if that is the correct answer. Now, the answer is break each pill and take a half! I'm getting my award. Thank you! I will now accept my award, my Nobel Peace Prize. I would like to give a speech really quick. Okay. I would like to thank everybody who helped me with my science. Scientific research. Cookie. Chimmy. The polar bear. Yeah. I would like to thank uh, all the Skittles, all the medicine. I'm a genius. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Justin got that one right. And we're going to move on to the next riddle right now, which is this four door riddle. Four doors. Okay, here's how this one okay, starts. Okay. You are trapped in a room with four oh, doors. No, no. You no. have some food in a bucket. Is it a bucket of chicken? <laughs> <laughs> but there is danger behind every door. Under the first door is a big fire. Okay, okay. The second door has a giant octopus. <laughs> <laughs> the third door has a pool full of crocodiles. Oh, yeah. And yeah. the fourth door has an angry polar bear. <laughs> Those are cute. <laughs> okay. Now, what should you do to escape? <laughs> I got a bucket and I got some food. Got some honey buns. <laughs> okay, okay, now, using only these things and your brain, <laughs> <laughs> how are you going to solve this riddle? So, your first instinct is to immediately eat the Let food you have. Yeah, let me think real hard, Adam. <laughs> help you solve the riddle? <laughs> um, yes. So you think you might have to use this food later? Like you might not want to eat it yet? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I have just the bucket. So the first door, right? There's a big fire. Yeah. What would you do about that? I'm not going to flex. Every time there's a fire, uh -huh. I tell you how me and Kuki are certified firefighters uh -huh. and we could beat that. But I don't think that's the answer because this is for anybody, not just me. Right. Okay. I don't think anybody can get through a fire. Now, hold on. What about the giant octopus? Now, this is interesting. The octopus kind of looks like me. Now, I can actually help you. I have made an <laughs> octopus cutout. Wow. So this can simulate if you pick door number two. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, okay. he's angry. He's pretty funny looking. <laughs> you guys do kind of look alike. Yeah, this is very... Got the same body shape. <laughs> I might take him and lure him into the bucket. Hello, Mr. Octopus. What the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I got him in the bucket. Okay. Damn, that's looking pretty promising. Now I can get out, I can escape, and I have a friend. I got a pet. You would put the octopus in a bucket and then go through the octopus door? Hey. But yeah. the octopus is underwater. You can't huh? breathe underwater. No, wait, it never said it's underwater. Maybe it's Look not at the background, it's water. Octopus don't live on land. Yes, they can. <laughs> not for long. What about this one? <laughs> I don't think it's the giant octopus. Giant octopus is pretty scary. I don't like squishy, slimy things. Okay. I'm going to move on. Door number three. Now, I'm saying the pool full of crocodiles is very promising. <laughs> I have made a crocodile. You need to go back to preschool, Adam. <laughs> this is a crocodile. Yeah? It looks like a little chameleon. <laughs> now, I'm thinking the crocodile is pretty promising because I have food. Dude, Crocodiles wait. eat food. You know what I mean? Okay. If I throw food at the fire, that's not going to help. If I throw food at the octopus, that's not going to help. If I throw food at the crocodiles, that might help. So I'm actually going to do a live action simulation Okay. how I would escape. Okay. I got some food. Yeah. Crocodile, you want a honey bun? Yeah. Okay. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. 
<laughs> and then I would trap the alligator inside the bucket. There he is. Wait, 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 wait. Can an alligator fit in a bucket? Yeah. Alligators are huge. Well, their head could fit in the bucket like this. Oh. And his tail would just be out here wagging like this. I say goodbye, Mr. Alligator. I run through. Okay, I say, that's I, pretty promising. The crocodile room is looking pretty promising, honestly. Okay, Justin thinks it might be the crocodile. Now, there's one door left. See if you can try and figure this out before Justin can. See if you can get this right. The polar bears. No, what do you think about those? Bear. I'm thinking they're looking very <laughs> cute. <laughs> I do know polar bears can be pretty dangerous, yes. right? Yes. Especially when they're hungry. True. <laughs> Except actually, I have brought in my friend who is a real life polar bear consultant. No, that's a teddy bear that my mom got me for last Valentine's Day. He says, I will now claw you. <laughs> he says, back up. Yeah. Okay, now this is a real life polar bear. Okay. And if I were to walk through his door, he would say, hey, stop. You are a thick little boy. You're not allowed through here. But I am actually a master. Of despise and camouflage. <laughs> despise? Huh? You mean disguise? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Despise. Despise is when spies use disguise. Spies <laughs> use despise. I am a spy, <laughs> and I will spy on your disguise. Okay. And then I'll eat some pie. <laughs> yeah. Try me. Adam. Okay. So you're gonna pretend to be like an iceberg? No, I'm pretending to be a polar bear. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> I am now a furry little polar bear. I'm okay. gonna walk up to him. He's gonna say hello. We're gonna greet each other in the polar bear greeting. And he's gonna let me through, right? Yeah. And I'm getting through that door. Done. You think that you're going to befriend a polar bear and then they'll let you through. That would work, except for all you have is a bucket and some food. You don't have this white sheet to make the disguise. So that whole plan won't work. So that whole thing was for nothing. <laughs> yeah. I don't have my camel. <laughs> What? Despise disguise with the pies in the skies? No. Well, I'm wasting my time here. Okay. okay, so what do you think the answer is? I, I'm thinking, look, the polar bears, I'm not thinking that's it. I'm thinking, honestly, it's gotta be the crocodiles. The fire is too dangerous. The giant octopus I'm scared of is slippery and slimy. This one, I have a real chance with the bucket to secure the victory. And the polar bears, I'm not gonna mess with. That's it. I'm locking in the crocodiles. It's door three. Lock it in. Throw away the key. Oh. Okay, now Justin's saying to use the food on the crocodiles then trap them in the bucket and escape. The answer is to distract the crocodiles with the food you have and use the bucket of water to fight the fire. Wait, what? So the actual answer was to distract the crocodiles, grab the bucket and scoop up water and then throw it on the room with the fire. So the answer <laughs> is not door three? Well, it's door three. Grab the water, then pour it on the room with the fire and then leave through the door with the fire. So you actually got that one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now that riddle was pretty tricky. I feel kind of bad. So if you guys want to <laughs> increase your chances of winning the new iPhone, the uh -huh. giveaway, uh -huh. watch to the end of the video. We will unveil some new information then. But for now, let's get into the next riddle, which is this animal riddle. What? All you have to tell me is how many animals are in this picture. Oh, we put you in a riddle. <laughs> there you are. This is way too hard. You better hope your eyesight is very good. Good. Okay, so how many do you see right off the bat? Okay, oh my goodness. <laughs> there are so many. And if you don't guess the exact amount correct, you get the riddle wrong. You have to tell me the exact number. At the very bottom, I'm seeing a mouse, and above that, I'm seeing a cat. That's two. I'm going to use Skittles to keep track of how many animals I see. <laughs> okay. I can't count that high. Yeah, okay. That Is that sense. funny to you? <laughs> one for the mouse, <laughs> one for the cat. And above that, there's a little doggy. Okay, that's three. Above that, there is a donkey. Okay. Okay, that's four. But thanks to the donkey, I am seeing what looks like a mosquito, like an insect. Uh-huh. But does that count as an animal? I don't know. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's impossible. Okay, I'm going to say this counts. One okay. for the mosquito. It could five. also be just a crease in the elephant's leg. Yeah, and maybe this whole picture is just a crease on your phone. <laughs> no! Now you maybe lose count. Uh-oh. Now I got to start over again. Okay, <laughs> One for the mouse.
cows, one for the cat, one for the dog, donkey, mosquito. Okay. Then, of course, there's the elephant. Can't right. forget about him. Then we got the turtle. For the elephant ear? ear. Yeah. Okay. Another one. Okay. Oh, and then there's a little fishy <laughs> for his eye. Okay. This makes no sense. Okay. There looks to be like a shark tail on his nose. What am I looking at? <laughs> what am I? That's a crocodile. It's like facing this way. Does okay. the back of a crocodile look like that? You don't know. <laughs> so you mean this is two animals? I don't know. Is it? Oh, this is a dolphin. It doesn't matter. I already added that one. I think that's it. Oh, wait. It's a little snake for the tail. What about the crease above the mosquito? That could be a blade of grass or like one of those <laughs> stick bugs. <laughs> A blade of grass? <laughs> An animal? Animal eats blades of grass. You about to eat my fist. I know. If that's a blade of grass, then I guess these two lines are also blades okay, of grass. Okay, maybe, maybe that was just to try and trick you. You are a troll, Adam. You're a troll. What about this little thing on its kneecap? Is that could be a sand dollar. It could be a... <laughs> I'm so tired of you. I don't understand. I'm gonna say that's it. I'm gonna say that's it. I don't think that's an animal. Okay, so wait. What is your answer? How many animals are there? Just as many Skittles as I have here. Kinda hungry. <laughs> Can you count using your mouth? Yeah! <laughs> wait, how many was that? That was 10. Now the actual answer is 13. What? Animals. So there's the mouse, the cat. Yeah. Uh, the snake. Yeah. The dog. Yeah, I got all the those. donkey. I got those. the mosquito. I got that. The elephant, I which said, you did not count. I did. No. Yes, I did. Put a rewind. Then of course there's the elephant. Can't right. forget about him. I, I put a skittle for the elephant. I okay, did. Okay, the tortoise, the fish, yeah. the bird head. Huh? Apparently they said that's the head of a bird. Then they said a dolphin, a crocodile. Which the two animals? How <laughs> how is that a bird head? <laughs> what you mean? Keep going. It gets even even weirder. A prawn? <laughs> Where is the prawn? I think it's on like the side of his leg. That's not what a prawn looks like. <laughs> wait, no, wait. I got all of these except for the bird head and the prawn. Yeah, but you guessed 10. No, because I thought the dolphin and the crocodile were one. Oh. So there's that which I missed and then two. Prawn. Why don't they just add a shot? <laughs> a what? Is that a prawn, Mendes? <laughs> now, unfortunately, just <laughs> got that one. Oh, are you kidding me? And we are going to go on to the next riddle right now, which is... Who is more stupid? Oh, easy. Okay, no. now. No, not me. Huh? <laughs> That's not the riddle. Oh. No, okay. All you have to tell me is who is more stupid. There's two girls sitting on a tree with <laughs> saws. And you just have to tell me which one is stupider. Who is more stupid? <laughs> well, obviously... The girl yeah. looks a little bit yeah. like you. I was going to say, you really picked a riddle where the two girls look like us. <laughs> I don't look like the girl. You literally, that's literally you. You have brown hair. What are you talking about? This is literally the two of us in girl form sitting in a tree. It's you. It's the one on the right. The green one's more stupid. I'm done. I'm locking that in. Do so you think the girl on the right, you don't want to use any logic? You just think it's me because I, I look like her? I did use the logic. It's you. <laughs> I'm not seeing any clues as to what's going on. So we will have to do a real life simulation. Bust out the saws, Adam. I don't have have saws and if I did I would not trust you with a saw. They're in a tree really high up, yeah, right? I can see that. She's sawing the branch. She's also sawing the branch. What are you talking about? Where is the tree? I thought you'd be able to get this one a lot easier. Dude, why did you make the stupid one me? You had every choice in the world. I didn't make this. Yes, you did. <laughs> I know you photoshopped this, Adam, because this girl is chopping this part so she wouldn't fall. The yeah. girl on the right, the girl on the green is chopping the tree to where she wouldn't fall. The one here is chopping the one to where they both will fall. Maybe she's the smart, maybe. Maybe the purple hair is the smart one. Maybe she's doing this to sabotage the green one. You think that's the answer? You really mean- But if she sabotaged the green one, she would also fall. Does she look like she cares? <laughs> Do I look like I care? <laughs> the answer is the purple one. She's the more stupid one, which she is not. I am not the stupid one. Lock it and move on. So you think the girl on the left is stupider because when she saws the branch, both of them will fall? Yeah. Okay, let's see what the answer is. The girl on the left is the stupider one. They will both fall if she keeps going. Good job. Yeah. Okay, Justin yeah. was able to get that one right, which means he has gotten half of them right, half of them wrong. This last riddle will determine if 
Ricky wins the prize or not. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's get into the final riddle, which is this vision riddle. Huh? The more there is, the less you see. What am I? There's literally anything would answer this. Like what? The more honey buns there are, the less you see. If I now you have no buns. No, because yeah. the more you'd see, because there's more honey buns. No. If I put the honey buns here, can you see anything? Yeah, uh, but that's not more honey buns. That's just blocking the honey buns with your eyes. No, right now you have zero honey buns, right? Yes. Now you have one. The riddle doesn't say it's in front of your eyes. It just Everything more. is in front of your eyes. Right now you have zero toilet papers. Now you have one toilet paper. Yeah, but it's not saying you cover with your eyes. The more there is, the less you see. Okay, this could be anything. Darkness. The more darkness there is, the less you see. That's it. What? That's literally the answer. You got the answer right. It's darkness, Justin. Are you kidding me? Let's go. Wow, Justin was able to solve that one so quick because the more darkness there is, like at nighttime, the less you can see. Let us know how many out of those five riddles you were able to get right. Justin got three, which means he gets to spin the wheel. Let's see what his prize is. Comment below some prizes you want us to have next. Wait, Adam, you guys tell everybody at home and me because I will be entering the giveaway. <laughs> if you guys want to have an extra chance to win the iPhone, all you got to do is, like we said, be subscribed to this channel, okay. Lanky Box, with notifications on. But if you want a double chance, subscribe to our other channel, our new channel, Lanky Box World. What? We're going to be picking random people from both the people that are subscribed to win the iPhone. Okay, so okay. So go over to that channel, subscribe, subscribe here. Justin, let's, let's see, see what, what I want. See anything? <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. If Justy wins, Adam has to give him all of his cookies. Okay. Okay, I have some cookies here. It's cookie time. <laughs>